Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jean and you guys watching Tech Talk. So Bose just announced the release date for the new QC headphones. So the newest QC line headphones will be the QC45. And right now it's planned to be released on September 23rd. So this is just a few weeks away. If you guys already know about Bose guys, the QC line, which means the quiet comfort line, it's a, you know has a solid reputation for noise canceling, you know, comfort, good sound quality. But if you have the QC35, let's say if you have the QC35 second gen, do you really need to upgrade to the QC45? So that is a good question, and I'm gonna try to answer that question for you today, guys. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to share my personal opinion with you, like always, on that new QC45. I'm going to compare the QC35 with the QC45. I'm just going to compare some of the features to see if it's really worth spending that extra money on the QC45 to upgrade on September 23rd. So if you're interested in this kind of topic, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back to the channel guys. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is John and you guys watching Tech Talk. So Tech Talk is a channel where I come to share my personal opinion with you every time I can on the newest tech. So today I'm going to talk about the Bose QC45. So the Bose QC45 will be released soon. As you already know guys, Bose is one of the most recognized name and pioneers in noise canceling headphones. Bose is still a top class headphone company. The Bose 700 wireless headphone released in 2019 is the perfect example of that. The Bose 700 is an impressive pair of headphones. Yes, it comes with a big price tag, but it's a great headphone. Uh, look really good, look beautiful. Um, but we're not here to talk about the Bose 700 guys, so we're here to talk about the QC45. And let's get to it. Now, noise canceling headphones are extremely common these days. And Bose was really the pioneer in noise canceling. You know, Bose changed the headphone industry with noise canceling. Back in the days, Bose was the king of noise canceling. So until the Sony MDR-1000X came out, Bose was the leading company, was the top company in noise canceling. So let's take a quick look at a few Bose headphones from back in the days that are still great headphones today, guys, okay? When it comes to sound quality, noise canceling technology, we had the QC2, um, the QC25, and when the Bluetooth headphones became mainstream, Bose came out with the sound line at the Bose QC30, which was one of the first wireless workout earbuds from Bose. And it had great noise canceling features, great sound, uh, very comfortable. I still use it now. So later on, we got the QC35. Then we had the QC35 second gen. And most recently, Bose released the Bose 700, if you guys remember that, in 2019. And just in a few weeks, we're going to get the QC45 soon. I still have my QC35, and the sound is still amazing to me when I put them on today. It's beautiful pair headphones. It's great battery life, extremely light, amazing noise canceling features. Very easy to pair with your phone. The QC35 first gen or the second gen are still relevant today. So with the Bose QC45, this is what you're expecting to get. Okay, we are getting a slightly improved design. By the look, I think the material look almost the same as the QC35. But you are getting a more comfortable ear pad with the QC45. 
Look like you're getting a softer material for your ear pad. But to me, the QC45 looks a little bit bigger, okay? But there are also some big differences between the QC45 and the QC35 or the QC35 second gen. So we are getting a better microphone with the QC45. Both call it noise rejecting mic. Uh, we're getting some new feature also called aware mode. The price for the Bose QC45 is $329. The QC35 second generation right now is $299. So what is my final opinion on the QC45 guys? The QC45 is an upgrade that you should consider if you're still using the QC35 first gen or if you really need to upgrade to a new Bose headphone. The Bose QC45 definitely looks more comfortable, but to me, it looks bigger than the QC35. If you have the QC35 second gen, I don't think you need to upgrade that quick to the Bose QC45. So that's my opinion, guys, okay? So I think the Bose QC45 does have some good stuff. It's not a bad upgrade, but it's not an upgrade that you need as soon as possible okay all right guys that's all i have for today's video i hope you enjoy topic like this and if you do please consider subscribing to the channel take care of yourself and i'll see you guys next time for the next video guys